What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got Foot Champ Highlights Part 2 and some of you may know that Part 1 did end on 14 to 1. The one being the disconnect that we actually did receive. It is what it is, you know, it happens. But 14 to 1 is the way you want to start either way. But this is the team we ended up playing Foot Champs with. I do play the 5 2 1 2 formation. I know a lot of people are going to be sitting there saying, oh, 5 at the back, oh, 5 at the back and all of that. Boys, if you have the right five at the back, or to be fair, any five at the back, if you have the right instructions, trust me, it's not actually what you think. It's not this park the bus, put everyone behind the ball kind of meta. No, if you have the right instructions with the left wing back and the right wing back on stuff like overlap, you are going to see one of the most attacking formations, especially the 5 2 1 2, which is the formation I use. If you guys missed out on the custom tactic video, the link will be in the description for it. Trust me, you want to use the tactics. I've had some very very positive feedback on it a lot of people end up getting you know the higher rank than they usually get which is something you love to see but a beautiful pass from Kimmich to Neymar very hard angle for Neymar but you have, you know how it goes when it comes down to Neymar the guy's got a five star weak foot hit it with the left hit it with the right it's gonna go in Quadrado down the line lack of here to cancel just to get the angle I'm gonna get the ball roll just a quick ball roll to get the angle towards the near post as well it's literally all about angles when it comes down to inside the box if you get the perfect angle you are guaranteeing yourself a goal pretty much so it's all about creating your space creating your angles with these skill moves the ball rolls the mcgilly spin cancels the lack of hitter cancels alfonso davis playing a beautiful pass over to mbappe gonna try to see if i can take Ver sorry varan no it wasn't it was virgil van dyke i actually thought i was gonna do a skill move there but apparently i didn't i just went for the shot i tried to go for that little uh, little flick there go for it again giving me the acceleration boost ball roll into a scoop turn you see right there you see how composed i am right there that's me just taking my time I'm looking at me still taking my time i'm not going towards a near post and insta shooting there because i know i can send my opponent one more time and if i send my opponent one more time i'm gonna have pretty much like a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and especially if you're that close to the goal and the guy doesn't bring out the keeper it's most likely going to be a goal this a look how high up this a is he plays a double a pass over to cr7 standing scoop turn into the shot obviously obviously it's going to go in with cr7 now kulazewski you see a Mbappe you see Neymar it's a very meta team very 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 meta team but boys I want to talk about Cancelo in the center back position because a lot of people in like my stream they ask how is Cancelo in that center back position how does he play for you is he good is he a bit you know too weak or anything like that in that position boys I'm telling you right now in the five at the back I play Cancelo as a left center back and oh my god that guy is an absolute beast there. He's one of those ones that has su such a good, good tackle to his game. And I can be so aggressive with him. So I'm not one of those ones that, you know, sits back, just literally lets the centre-backs do what they want. No, I grab one of the centre-backs and I run straight at you. And it's usually Cancelo is the one that actually runs straight at him. It's rather Cancelo or Klostman because I do play Desai in that in that middle centre-back position. But yeah, Cancelo in that centre-back position, boys. If you haven't tried it out yet, try it out trust me you will not be disappointed he is an absolute beast there he's also six foot so he's got that interception reach to his game while having that tackle reach to his game but look at alfonso davis bombing up the pitch doing a little few skill moves inside the box Kimmich to neymar to cr7 that's a beautiful little kind of shield off by cr7 to obviously create the angle sanchez on the ball gonna give it to Kimmich. Kimmich to the mbappe oh the flip flap the flip flap never gets old it really really doesn't there's certain angles that you can still use the moving flip flap like one right there but i don't use it very often and the reason i don't use it very often is because the pace to actually do it has been decreased so it's like it's kind of awkward in a way because i it really did enjoy it i really really did like before the patch but because they patched the flip flap it kind of became a little bit too slow to go around those angles so i kind of kind of tried to avoid it at some point but if you're in a certain angle like you just saw you have to use it because it's so effective either way look at the dribbling look at the dribbling i'm telling you boys inside the box when it comes down to dribbling it's beautiful with mbappe name on the ball gonna go for that little fake shot to get the angle ball roll scoop turn give it to mbappe gonna go for the running scoop turn boys if you don't know by the way if you're near like the 18 yard box and not to be fair near the 18 yard box or just inside the 18 yard box put a lot of power into the shot trust me it's gonna go in way more consistent like the amount of power i put into some of my shots it's absolutely ridiculous i make sure 
I make sure they go in. It's simple as that. If you guys don't know about like the power and stuff like that, two bars, like if for that angle, perfectly fine. You don't need to put more than two bars, okay? But if you're in like a near 18 yard box kind of angle, just go for power. Literally just go for power. Go for a full pelter across goal, near post. It doesn't matter. It tends to go top bins the majority of the time, which is something you love to see. Either way, Neymar going to give it to Eto. What? <clears throat> what? Like, excuse me? What kind of finish is that? Neymar on the ball though. Going to give it to Kimmich. Look at Kimmich bombing it up the pitch. And look at this. Left foot left foot Kimmich hitting a shot like that things you love to see and we ended up winning that game because of Kimmich's goal outstanding outstanding run by him but what a team we match up next Quadrado over to CR7 CR7 back to Quadrado we are going to see what we can actually do little ball roll scoop turn and then it disconnects us and then we get the L once again embarrassing absolutely embarrassing boys 20 to 2 now with two disconnects. I don't know what to say. I really, really don't know what to say, man. It's like, it's just one of those ones where it's so, like, the motivation just goes all of a sudden. It really does because you're sitting there thinking to yourself, okay, 29 to 1, not too bad. We got the DC. It is what it is, you know? But then 28 to 2, like, that's just heartbreaking. It really, really is. Either way, CR7 does beautiful to get out of goal there. Kylian Mbappe running down the line. I go for a fake shot in. I see Neymar. What a run by Neymar, by the way. This guy in the cam position, the runs he does is ridiculous. But look at this. This guy is not controlling the guy closest to me. He's trying to, like, cover the sweat. And I'm thinking to myself, if you're covering the sweat out here, I know the AI is most likely not going to tackle me, especially when you're that close to goal. I'm just going to walk. Try to create my angle. Go for that quick finish shot. We get a goal. Simple. Kimmich to Mbappe. Mbappe going to go for that hill to hill. I see Neymar make a beautiful run, by the way. And we are going to get that next goal. That next goal. Sorry, the first goal. CR7. He's going to go for the little bridge. Look at this cross. What? That cr Sorry. But, like, Joao Felix, what kind of run is that? What kind of run is that? Because no way you have made that insane of a run. But either way, we do get back into the game. A little RBX towards the near post. Keenan Mbappe going to get the goal. Look at the ball, though. Oh, my God. Desai, you beautiful, beautiful person. CR7. Game, don't do this to me. Game, do not do this to me. You're telling me Desai is going to play that ball. And Alfonso is going to play that beautiful RBX. And he's still not going to score. But look at this, man. Like, you're telling me I can't score that. But, like, you can score that. Come on, EA. Come on. Two all. Name on the ball. Going to give it to Mbappe. Going to give it to CR7. CR7 to make it 3-2 in the 61st minute is going to happen. Sanchez to Mbappe. Mbappe to CR7 once again. Like, okay, to cancel. Give it to Mbappe. This is where you have to put a lot of shot power. This is where you do it. Because if you put a lot of shot power in that situation right there, the keeper's going to have no chance. We make it 4-2. I see Mbappe towards the back stick, but it has to be a pinpoint perfect pass because if it's not, it goes too close to the keeper. Keeper comes out and saves it. If it goes too close to the defender, defender just comes out and obviously tackles it. But yeah, really nice pass from Quadrado there. Going into the next game, we're matching some, you know, some serious, serious teams. But it's expected, you know, when you have a team like mine, it's like you can't really complain when it comes down to getting out teamed, unless you're matching up against like a, you know, a team leader Ronaldo with a team leader 11 and a team leader Mbappe. That's when you can kind of complain a lot. But either way, CR7 going to get the second goal for us in the 60th minute. 65th minute now, this guy plays a ball into the middle. I was, oh, look how much of a press I was on him, by the way. I was so much of a press onto him that he literally started panicking and just RBX it straight into the middle. But yeah, just going to take my time. I see he's not really coming towards me here. Going to give it to Mbappe, shielding off. You see the shielding off of uh, what's called Mbappe towards Virgil. That's something I really do like about Mbappe that kind of Neymar can't do. Because he hasn't got that strength to his game. But look, I do the wrong skill move there. It kind of works out to be fair. I'm going to try to turn Virgil. That's beautiful though. Oh my god. Just trying to create my angle. Going against Virgil van Dijk with the shielding once again. And just going for the standing scoop turn. Really, really good team once again though. you got Petit. you got Carlos Alberto, Maldini, Van der Sar. you got some serious players in there. 13 minutes in. Neymar going to go for that Ronaldo chop just to create the angle. I'm going to most likely pass this. There you go. Mbappe, look at that. Oh. 
the combo boys the combo if you don't know about that combo learn it get it into your game it's simple as that the little standing sh standing fake shot to a flip flap is beautiful but this guy plays a ball back to maldini and listen when you have when you have players like mbappe CR7, Neymar in the striker and cam position. You can't be misplacing passes in the defensive line. It's simple as that. I should have probably gone for a simple shot there. Like, I'm looking back at this now and I think to myself, I overdid this. 100% I overdid it, but we get the goal. It is what it is. 29 minutes in, 1 0. Going into the 62nd minute. So it's taking us a long time to get this second goal. Mbappe on the ball, just going to pass it to Neymar. He thought I was going to give it back to Mbappe because Mbappe did make a really good run. So I took that to my advantage of him kind of stepping back away from me and just going for that finesse shot. Klosterman over to Neymar. Neymar going to play a wonder ball all the way over to Mbappe. Can we get our third goal? Look how long I take, by the way. That is so bad for me. Do not do that. Do you know what I was thinking? The guy was going to come out with a keeper, okay? Do not do what I did right there. Just don't, you know, take too long. Because if you take too long, the chance is going to go. And, you know, you could have ended up scoring it. But I get, I got very lucky there to actually get that goal. And back on the ball, going to go for that little, you know, little... Oh, my God, look at that. Just, just stop it. Just stop it. Little ball roll to the scoop turn. Waiting for him to commit to that left side. Lack of hair to cancel towards the inside. Boom. We get the angle. We get the goal. Beautiful standing scoop turn, by the way. Use the standing scoop turn to its full potential. That's something I can tell you guys. Because the standing scoop turn is a very, very good skill move for kind of faking out your opponent. It's a way of like sending players the wrong way and making them think that they've got that ball 100%. Then boom, all of a sudden, you're on the other side. But look at this. Klosterman, I don't know how you didn't get that ball. My opponent does really well to just kind of turn with Neymar there. And he does really well to send me for hot dog with Mbappe. I thought he was going to go for that near post finish. But going into extra time now, look at his play. Look at this play. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The one thing I would hate there is if Mbappe missed it. After playing that beautiful, beautiful passing play, I just needed to get the goal. Zola, Sen, Blanc, Wambazaka, Adama Traore. He's even got Lam in that left back position. Pretty nice team. Mbappe though, going to try to send it in behind to Neymar. Neymar's going to make it 1-0 to my opponent. 1-0 down. Interesting. Very interesting. Kimmich on the ball though. I see Mbappe making that run and think to myself, he's going to go into the inside. But look at the touch. That touch has to be so precise. It, he has to keep that ball close to his feet because if he doesn't, it's game. It's not going to go in. It's simple as that, boys. But I see Mbappe here moving towards the near post. And I'm thinking, you know, my opponent is like, oh, he's going to probably go for an RBX because that's what everyone does. So I just go for a normal A pass towards the near post and get the angle for the goal. But matching up against this team, I was like, okay, he's got a very, very meta defensive line. But then if you look at the strikers, Jamie Vardy and a Bambiang. That's something you don't see very often, let's just say that. But beautiful turn. I had to do the extra scoop turn because if I didn't, I most likely Reese James would have blocked it. But either way, Ronaldo with the ball. Going to try to fight his way through. I believe it's Trent. Going to try to get around Reese James. There you go. Just trying to create this angle here. Look at the automatic animation, by the way. That is so bad. That is so, so bad. If that happened to me, I would be so salty. It's ridiculous. Because there's no way... No way. Gomez does an automatic animation there. He shouldn't be doing it. But look at that. Varane with his beautiful reach intercepts the ball. But we get very lucky to actually get the ball back. Making it 3-0. I'm going to go for my little free kick tactic. If you guys don't know the tactic, I did make a review on it. I believe it was like... Was it a year ago? I think I made a review on it like a year ago. It's still a very, very effective tactic. And I feel like it's more effective this year than it was last year for some odd reason. But either way, that is going to be it for Foot Champ Highlights Part 2, boys. We are going to end on 28 and 2. We obviously didn't end on 33rd in the world, but it is what it is, boys. I hope you guys did enjoy Foot Champ Highlights. Obviously, Foot Champ Awards will be out tomorrow. But for now, peace.